Mr. Hiram B. Otis bought Canterville Chase. Then his family came to England from America. He had a wife called Lucretia, three sons and a daughter. The eldest son, Washington, was almost twenty years old. He was good-looking and had fair hair. His two young brothers were twins. They were twelve years old. The daughter, Virginia, was fifteen years old. She had large blue eyes and a lovely face. Mr. Otis took his family to live at Canterville Chase. The old house was in the countryside west of London. Mr. Otis and his family travelled from London by train. Then they rode to the house in a wagon pulled by two horses. Canterville Chase was big and old. Trees grew all around the house. The Otis family wanted to stop and look at the outside of the house, but the sky darkened. A thunderstorm was coming. Rain started to fall, so the family went inside the house quickly. Mrs. Umney, the housekeeper, was waiting for them by the front door. She was an old woman and wore a black dress and white apron. She lived at Canterville Chase and looked after the house. "'Welcome to Canterville Chase,' said Mrs. Umney. "'Would you like some tea?' "'Yes, please,' said Mrs. Otis. The Otis family followed Mrs. Umney into the library. There was a big table in the centre of the room and many chairs. Mrs. Umney put teacups on the table, then she brought a pot of tea.'